Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the Alive Slum Dead podcast. I'm Dan. And I'm Aaron, also known as As. And this is a new concept for us. It's something a little bit different. Um, we kind of wanted to do it as more of like a chill back thing, to be honest. Somewhere where we can just sit, have a ramble, maybe once a month or once a week, whatever you guys sort of like. And we discuss different topics that either you guys say or we're interested in. And yeah, we just basically chat pure and utter shit for the next hour or so. Pepsi over there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So you're going to get things like that through all out. Like, um, yeah, <laughs> with, with me talking, you're going to get a lot of shit. Yeah, obviously, if you're watching this on um, YouTube, then you get the beautiful visuals of us sat in my lovely living room. <laughs> um, in my work shirt. <laughs> Exactly, and if yeah. you're listening to this on any of like, well, if it ends up going on Spotify or anything like that, then you get to hear us in your headphones whilst you're doing something. Maybe you're at work right now, maybe you're driving. If you're driving, keep your eyes on the road. If you're at work, and keep going, you're doing a good job. You're going to crash! There you go. Um, Sorry. <laughs> so, this week's podcast, or this week's episode, is going to be talking all about YouTube, um, how we started on YouTube. Love it. Yeah, um, some <laughs> of our like creators some of the drama that's happened some of the problems with youtube uh, and where we're gonna you know try and end up moving forward oh yeah god i mean youtube's been our dream for absolutely ages i mean i Mm. i remember the first time i wanted to do it and you messaged me yeah i mean like for me it'll um i don't know it it began earlier with you obviously yeah well i started at like watching youtube in 2011 I think. Christ, I can't really... I think I was... before that. I remember being ill, and you introduced me to Dad's Games, Dad's Black. Yeah, yeah. And I started watching... God, this is obviously like four years ago, and I started watching... He did a game where you're at a fairground, and you're a mum trying to look for her son... God, I can't even. I don't see. I don't even know. This is yeah, yeah. This yeah. is when Daz Black was at five hundred thousand subs, not even at a million yet. And we were just literally saying before we went live, you know, he's literally just hit um, five million now. I know, lucky bastard. <laughs> oh, and he's got Sahela as his girlfriend. Oh, punching above your weight. No, I'm joking, Daz. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyway, before we get into all the topics, uh, we're going to start a little question now. So whenever we have a guest on the show, we're going to ask a, a specific question each time. Um, and this one's going to be, what is your go-to going out drink? So we're talking alcoholics. Obviously, this is 18 plus question. Um, Aaron, do you know what? I'm going to let you start this. What is your go-to going out drink? Well, my my go-to is usually either, believe it or not, a gin or a strombo dark fruit. Okay. Because I think with a dark fruit, you, you can't go wrong. I mean, especially yeah, yeah, yeah. Weatherspoons, it's like just under three quid. It's like being yeah, it's like being sixteen again. Man. It brings <laughs> yeah, it back a little much. bit of nostalgia, especially for Britain. Oh god, yeah. But I do like a pink gin and lemonade, or I like I do like Tanqueray, which is a really lovely gin. Mm-hmm. But as you know, me Dan, I will I will go for anything. Mm. See, I can't drink gin. Oh yeah, it makes you violent. <laughs> it really. It's everyone's got that one drink that like affects them. But gin is yeah, it just doesn't agree with me. I. I, I see it's hard, isn't it? Because I, I kind of change my drink each time. I mean, I've seen you go for a, 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 a lot of different. You things. like a, you like a cocktail. I've yeah. seen you have a cocktail. I like a whiskey. Yes. Um, um, oh, vodka Red Bull. You had the other Red night. Bull. Yeah. yeah, which is like I, every. Pan if we're going like dream. start, yeah, literally <laughs> is, isn't it? Yeah, but it's nice though. It's, it goes down so easily. Oh, it does. I think no. If you just start in the night, or you're just going in the pub for one or two, I like a Foster's. Okay, yeah, I can Foster's see that. Foster's or a Red Stripe is my go-to sort of pint. I've never had Red Stripe. It's lovely. Oh my God, that's one alcoholic drink I've never had. Oh, fucking hell, we've, we've like started something here before this even begun. Get me a can of Red Stripe, <laughs> Stripe now. now. Yeah, can we, uh, sorry, can we, uh, my assistant, can we get a Red Stripe in here, please? Um, just for clarification, <laughs> we are nowhere near relevant enough to have an assistant. No, um, we've only got Amy and that's it. Yes, our camera woman. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, like, I like a Foster's, and then chances are I try to move on to like shorts pretty quickly, so like spirits and something pretty quick. Oh yeah, um, Jägermeister. No, that's um, a shot. What did you say? Short. Oh, I thought you said no, shot. No, short. Oh. So like your Malibu's and Coke. Malibu and Coke's a good drink. Um, Malibu and pineapple juice, juice. Oh, but it go-to. gives you acid. Yeah, massively. 
Uh, what was I drinking last weekend? This sounds like we do this all the time. Yeah, I, I do. Um, I don't. <laughs> Jameson and Coke, when I? I had that. That's what but, I had. Uh, so I oh, because I, I necked it. Yeah. Yeah, I had it. Yeah, like a... Yeah, because I got you. I had one when you got there, didn't I? And then you had one as well. Yes, I did. But it was gone within three seconds. Yeah, so I'm going to say, yeah. So my go-to like first drink of the night is just like a pint or something. Um, yeah. And then after that, I either move on. I move on to my spirits pretty quick. Well, Anything but gin. Before I met you the other day, when was it last Friday? I started. I I was in Spoons and I was meeting Matt and a couple of others, and I spent twenty five pound on drinks. And and there was wow. no and there was no one there with me. I got it was just you. Yeah, yeah. Matt was on his way, but I I got um three cocktails, two Jaeger bombs, two Fireball bombs. A dark fruit for me, a pink gin for Riggles. Oh, and a dark fruit for Riggles as well. So that was like the first round of drinks. That's mental. I know. Christ. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but saying that though, we um, when before we met you, we would we drank at home before we went out. That's so, always a good thing. So um, my Morgan, he come down with a bottle of Bacardi, you know. Yeah. Crate of uh, Coke. Oh, I, I can't have Bacardi. Love it. I had a bad experience on that. <laughs> Oh, it was awful. Like, you know it's bad when Matt and Ben are walking you home. Yeah, good point. Ben's another friend. Anyway, getting this back on uh, track now. So, YouTube. Um, Gay. Yeah, pretty much. I've, I've written down some notes here. That's what I stopped. I was like, oh, what am I going to talk about? Um, yeah, so I think the common question to ask would be, what made us start YouTube? A number of things, really. Um, well... Ah, well, well before <laughs> YouTube, <laughs> sorry that before YouTube, I was part of Idiocracy. Idiocracy, which was a pain group like Jackass mm. and Wild Boys. It's like the B Tech Jackass, wasn't it? Really? It pretty much, yeah. If not worse, because we put well, Jake put a fish hook for his foreskin at mm. one of our shows. Sorry to make anyone cringe, and we we started that YouTube channel for Idiocracy. A while back, because we did a couple of episodes on YouTube, and then that was I like 2015 wasn't it? You started your obviously. Yeah, I, well, I I joined in 2013. Did you? When another guy named Chris was with Jake. Mm. Hi, Jake. And um, then then he left, and I was like their camera guy, mm. and I said I want to be part of it because I've watched a load of like Jackass, Wild Boys, and then I got involved with that. And then in 2016, February 2016, we did our first show at Coburg's, which is our local like nightclub it's not, yeah it's not really a nightclub. yeah well it's the isle of why we um, don't have a nightclub no all we got is a fever and that's again shit. we don't have a nightclub. yeah again well, yeah yeah if you want to get beaten up after a night out you got a fever but pretty much yeah we did a live show there and obviously that was on the youtube channel and then mm. i wanted to do it myself and i put on facebook i'm thinking of doing a youtube channel do you think anyone would be interested and that's when dan messaged me saying he's got the tools and what i need so what made you though like what gave you the idea to start a youtube channel not like the pain group what made you think oh, okay i could then put this on youtube because you could have cho- chosen like facebook oh or okay anything. yeah well okay well i'd have to say steve-o from jackass because he's got the his YouTube own channel because he's got his own and he does stunts and stuff and challenges so did you watch like tgf at the time no not? i only got into tgf last year okay yeah, yeah. oh so, no because so a lot of people would probably relate what you want to do to tgf nowadays um i th- well i i love tgf but i think what they do is like just kid stuff okay. i mean no okay. not not what they do but the pain so you, stuff so you'd cement your head in a microwave yeah i would that i think that was brilliant see th- this is like yeah no <laughs> well no, okay well what he did he nearly died but it was funny but um I think a lot of TGF stuff, and I think it's the same with. Um, there's a couple of other channels that do like similar things. Well, the problem is, is that it, you get 14 and 15 year old kids doing it as yeah. well, which yeah. is that's what it's aimed at, and they're like adults. But when I was in my corner shop the other week, I heard a kid say, "I TGF dare you to push him into the shelf in yeah, the shop." Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, "Okay, what well, little that that made me." go down with tgf kind of thing because i'm like little kids are doing it and so it's this a is, shit. i mean th- this was meant to be a bit of a later segment in the pod but 
Um, we might as well just talk about it and actually come on to it. Do this it. is one of the issues with um, like YouTubers and T- and TGF. This happened last year when they brought out their card game. Oh my god, that fucking card game! The TGF, ridiculous. The TGF there's now Why'd like you have to do it. I no, I can I can see why they've done it, but uh, like. No, not even just that though. Like the concept of it, I think was brilliant, and I think it is a good idea. But their demographic is ro- is not right for the game. I mean, qu- question. Don't get me wrong. Some of the cards were questionable. Oh yeah, like run over a, a car. moving car. Oh, yeah, like run on top of a moving. What you're trying to get kids to kill themselves? Yeah, and you know they know full well that their audience is fourteen year olds. You know, I know. Like, oh, and they're like our age. Well, like, yeah. well, but my age, but. Um, I yeah. I love Jay and Ramel and um, whatever the rest of them are. Luke, like they're they're so funny and their extreme haircuts are brilliant. But the audience that go for it is teenagers, and that is yeah. just ridiculous. Like little chabs, yeah, and it, stuff. Yeah, whereas that's the difference with when you watch Jackass. Jackass is eighteen rated, isn't it? You know, I mean, Jackass are the OGs. Yeah, they they were doing it in but, like two thousand. Yeah, but their all their stuff is eighteen rated. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, you know, they is. haven't built themselves. If you're on YouTube, chances are you have a very young audience anyway, because that's that's the generation that's coming up now. Yeah, yeah, that's true. They grow up with it, you know. So that's um. Oh yeah, because I did grow up with Jackass. I do remember it watching it quite young. Mm. Um, whereas nowadays, you know, you've got the the YouTube channels and stuff, and that's what people are watching now over yeah. TV and stuff. There's quite a few videos of me on YouTube and Facebook doing stupid shit. Yeah, really. and I love it. I love being. I love being known as just. I. I just want to be known as the crazy guy. Hmm. Yeah. Am I there yet? Not quite. Shit. <laughs> I think the problem that you've got is you have extreme competition. Oh yeah. To ever get there, and probably competition that you don't want to try and exceed. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You know. But I want to. <laughs> yeah. It's like you saw the repercussions of the cement cement in the head in the microwave sort of scenario. Yeah. You know. I probably wouldn't go... Like, I mean, it was funny, but uh, to be fair, if someone came up to me and said, put this in put this in your head, I'd probably be like, oh, God, but what if I suffocate? Because now... Because before, I just said, oh, yeah, I'd do that. But now I'm thinking, oh, think of the repercussions. Yeah. Mum and, mum and dad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not just that, but yeah, getting the fire brigade on, being on BBC <laughs> News. <laughs> Yeah, they Which got, probably did help their channel. Every, yeah, there's no such thing as bad press, as the saying goes. Good pub, uh, bad publicity is good publicity. publicity yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I think bringing it back to me now, God, what made me start? I think, my, well, mine was heavily, no, you see, mine was heavily gaming. Uh, Markiplier. Mm, it was before that, really. You had people like... Um, Oh my God, why has everyone's name just gone out of my head? All of a sudden, now I've got to talk about my like, everyone's name's just gone <laughs> out of my head. Um, yeah, like there's YouTubers called like Muzza Fuzza, um, Merc, and all people like this, right? These are people from years ago, aren't they? Yes, these are like this is like 2010, 11 era of oh, shit. YouTube. Um, you know, there was Hutch, um, Yote Slayer. These are all like old Call of Duty YouTubers and stuff. Oh, okay. Um, and then you had Syndicate, who still got... I've heard. Yeah, still yeah, going nowadays. Um, and then Syndicate was probably the one sort of channel that I really got invested in and started watching him quite a lot. Um, well, actually, I started watching him. The first video I found of his was his 10,000 subscriber video. Bloody hell. What he's did on, he do for that? It's just a setup tour. And now he's on 10 million. Fucking hell! From ten thousand to ten million, yeah, that is mad. Um, I didn't get into PewDiePie till quite a few years later. Um, I find him really boring now. Nowadays, yeah, he's he's. I don't know. Happy Wheels. That was the day. So obviously we're going back a few years, but Happy Wheels was sort of how I found him. You see, I, f- uh, I found him when he played Amnesia or the horror. Oh yeah, okay. and stuff. Yeah. Oh, um, I remember he. Everyone did it, but Five Nights at Freddy's when he did that. That was yeah. that was funny. Yeah. Um, and then you got T series, who is the most subscribed now. Yeah, yeah. But there was, yes, yeah, so there was those sort of channels that I really liked. And then 2013, me and Al- um, Alex, mm. um, he's actually our editor, by the way, so, well, one of our editors. So, um, pretty gay. Yeah, he's a pretty gay guy. Um, oh, we can't actually say that. Oh, well. Why? 
Oh, that's that's just a straight way to trigger a thousand people nowadays. Isn't Sorry, it? wet blankets. Oh, fuck. Sorry, Karens. Oh dear. There we go. Um. gone i'm gone <laughs> while and truly gone we normally do this in like five minute segments so yeah so obviously i watch right so i watched all of those guys and we started a channel um do you remember on the xbox when you used to have the like the red yellow and white cables to plug into your yeah, tv yeah. the recorder that i had yeah um the like the recording box to record my gameplay you plugged it into your laptop but you used the red white and yellow cables right and you plugged it into your laptop um, and you had to watch. You had to play the game off of the off of the laptop screen, but it had like a three second delay. Oh, okay. What? So it um like yeah, well, it was, it, yeah, it's a bit less than it's like a one second delay. So like you'd move, and then your character would move. And <laughs> so I, yeah, but I used to have to record my videos like that because I didn't re- I didn't know how to do it any other way. Fuck it out. <laughs> yeah. Um, and my first microphone that I brought, right? I shit you not was a 10 pound microphone from Lidl and it worked it worked oh my god I thought like you'd get it home and it should be already broken no it worked um yeah it was a literally a fight it was like 10 pound from Lidl mind you I bought, I've bought some headphones like bluetooth headphones from Lidl for like 15 quid and they've been absolutely fine mm. I mean granted the quality was trash but my video quality was trash as well so it didn't really matter You're young in those days yeah. though yeah it did, yeah but that was the beauty it didn't matter I edited yeah. it in Windows Movie Maker, <laughs> which is, yeah. um, and we've done about, I think we've done about 20 videos on that channel. How many subscribers? Uh, 15. And That's all right. I can't find the channel now, but I, I can always remember I spelled productions wrong on the channel. Do you spell a lot of things wrong? <sighs> right. I don't spell things wrong because I can't spell right i know but like you yeah, type when you so type, quick yeah that you just don't see it like yeah. source s-a-u-s-e yeah hot sauce oh Forth. and um parkhurst forest park hurt forest yeah that was more it's yeah it's but not the case that i can't it's spell it it's the, yeah. i just don't the problem that i need to start doing is looking back at stuff now because that is i just don't do that <laughs> but also there was um uh wasabi Oh yeah, it was like wasabi. Yeah, it was like hey, double wasabi's a. a hard word. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we done this and that. <laughs> then we stopped because it was like it was just stupidly shit. The videos were so bad. We haven't we haven't got to this bit yet. We haven't talked about as Dan yet. No, mm. no. Oh right. No, okay. Don't worry. I'm going, I'm, I'm carrying oh, okay, on with um, oh, okay. yeah, mine yeah. and Alex's channel. <laughs> so we did that. Um, and we stopped it because the videos were so bad. Honestly, they were so bad. If I could find that channel now, I'd love to, but I can't. Um, and then I started watching a YouTuber called The Gaming Lemon. Right? Way! Again, another channel that I saw from... He had like 5k subs when I stumbled on one of his videos. Oh. Um, I've been he watching like 20 million now or something? I think he's on about 6 million. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> might, be, might even be less than that, actually. I'm having a yeah. look. I'm having a look. Go on, carry on. Yeah, so... Um, I was watching I was watching loads of his videos for years and he started doing this con- concept called fun touches yeah. where he basically it was like more editing and it was a comedy style thing yeah <laughs> three million I got oh, it way off <laughs> <laughs> I swear he's gone down no, I thought he was on five that's still good well that's still mad I'm good. Um, so yeah we started watching them and we're like oh we should do this and I started looking into like oh what equipment he was using and things like that and that was when I got a thing called an Elgato which I've still got now um, yeah. and that's where you can actually record your gameplay like 1080p yeah. you can have two screens and it's great got a proper microphone and those videos considering how little I knew were alright that was on Turtle Games oh my god yeah I remember you showing me that um, in one of our old videos yeah do you want the story behind why it's called Turtle Games go on then well Every YouTuber, we watch people like Mully, um, Hutch, uh, Jericho, all people like this, right? And they all had like nicknames. It was yeah. really, uh, it was really rare to call your channel like your actual name yeah. at that time, unless you were like Zoella or someone like that. Well, no, that's Zoe, isn't it? Still, but Alfie Days, people like that. Um, so we were like, oh, we need like just like a nickname. And we we're like, oh, what about Turtle? Uh, for no fucking <laughs> why did I ever think that was a good idea because the original channel was called Mr. Turtle Gaming 101 
Why don't you just go for like? Because I was four. T- Daleks. Yeah, yeah, that would have been smarter. Like Dan and Alex. But at Daleks. the time, Mr. Turtle Gaming was about to be the next biggest thing. Yeah. <laughs> to of course, us, of course. Um, and it was so bad. It was like, yeah, the content was alright. We made quite a lot of videos. I mean, if you go back now and watch watch them, you wouldn't believe it's me talking. Oh, I do remember seeing some old hey YouTube. Hey guys, what's so- up? Yeah. Oh, hey guys, how are we gonna get? Yeah. Um, but yeah, that channel, I think me and Alex started getting in arguments because it was like, it was in the summer holidays when we were like recording and I, yeah, but I wanted to record at like a decent time of the day. So like, you know, get up at like 11, like 10 o'clock or whatever Yeah. and like record or I'd be on, but normally I was up by like half eight, nine o'clock. And he was just too lazy. And he'd be getting up at like two, three o'clock. Then Jesus. He'd have, yeah. Then he'd have like dinner. Then he'd have like this. And by the time he got on, it was like nine o'clock. And I was like, well, I don't want to record now. To be fair, he still does that now, but I don't really give a shit anymore. But like, so we start. I was like, look, if you're not going to take this seriously, then I'm, we're not doing it. Blah, blah, blah. And I started, oh no! Yeah, and I started making videos on my own then. Oh, um, the end of an era. Yeah, it was. And then obviously got rid of that. Um, and then I started doing a channel on my own. Um, which was just like a, a vlogging channel. Started watching vloggers and stuff. That was a big thing. Yeah, that was a huge thing. Um, did that. I had a tech channel at one point where I was reviewing tech products. Sorry, I can't get comfortable, guys. It's all right, Aaron. I'm getting back ache. Um. <laughs> oh, yeah, we are just sort of lint on our sofa here. I've been at work. <laughs> I've had a very long, hard day. Oh, yes. Um. That. Yeah, so I had a tech channel. Oh what else did I have? I think I've done like a couple of vlogging channels, and then I went back to gaming again, and then yeah, comes. Oh, there you go. Me. Is that better? Yeah. And then comes the birth of Asdan. Where I come in. Aaron, do you want to take it from me? All right, and welcome back. <laughs> camera, ch- <laughs> camera change. Um, so yeah, as Dan, um, I remember putting, I think I've explained it, Like, I'll go for it again, um, I put a post out on Facebook saying um, if I started a YouTube channel, would anyone watch or be interested? And I got a lot of people saying, oh yeah, definitely, you know, really funny guy and can't see why not. And then you, me. you, no not you, you message me saying i have the camera the equipment editing and i can i can help you out of this and i was like oh brilliant because you know like yeah we're crazy that would have so i think at that time i had my own channel as well september 2016 yeah i I had my own channel because i just brought my first like pro camera so my first dslr um I just got that, like a new microphone. I had the proper like vlogger set up pretty much at that point. Um, wow. That would have been when I watched like Casey Neistat. Why do I know none of these YouTubers? You know, you must have heard of Casey Neistat. No. The crazy New York guy that always runs around on the like on his skateboard. No? Is he the is he the Asian guy? No, he's the guy that looks like a caveman. He always wears sunglasses. Do I know wow. him? Wow. Um, anyway, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, because did we originally want it to be a collab channel, or was it just going to be your channel? I can't remember. <laughs> you know, the original channel was actually my dad's. Oh, it was, wasn't it? Um, Bleep, Bleep Tester 67. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and then we, we made that into Asdan, because Dad said, oh, I'm not using it. He used to use it for, like, exercise and stuff, and all that kind of stuff. And um, our, our first video was, what was it? The Lemon Juice Challenge. Oh, uh, yeah, so um, cut up a load of lemons, squirt it out, and just drink the lemon juice. Oh, but I'm really bad with sour stuff and I just nearly puked. That video is so bad. Hi guys, welcome to Asdan, our brand new YouTube channel. <laughs> the thing is though, I think it's only within like the last year we're so natural on camera now. Oh yeah, absolutely. I don't give a shit. <laughs> no, whereas when we were back then it was like, we you have a YouTube voice, don't you? Yeah. You know, and you... You hear all hey these. Hey guys, g- welcome back to Asdan. Brand new video. Yeah, yeah. It was like, you know, hey guys, don't forget to smash that like on the video. And now it's more like. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Yeah. Thanks. Now we still do that. 
I think, but it's become natural to us, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, like, you know, th don't forget, guys, if you do enjoy this video, it's just like that, isn't it? Yeah. It's not so much. A <laughs> don't forget, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like. Like, you see fucking like, morgues. Like an athlete and, or something. Like, yeah, you know. like morgues or something like that. <laughs> yeah, no. So, that, we did that for quite a while, didn't we? Well, two did years? It was it just over a year? Just enough? over a year, because I remember our very last video was me reacting to Jake Paul and it got a lot of dislikes. Did it? Yeah, it got it got about two likes and six dislikes. Because you know what his fan base is like. Mm. A lot of dislikes <laughs> at six. <laughs> oh, for our yeah, channel. Yeah, no, I know. We, we, I know we didn't mean. even reach 100 subscribers. We made it to 84. We did. Because I checked it out the other day thinking, I wonder what, what do we get to? It's like 84. So, I remember getting is... excited over 75. Which is ridiculous. It's tragic, isn't it, when you think about oh, it? Oh, God, yeah. Oh dear. But we, at the same time, we got quite a... We did, uh, to be fair... I can't speak. We did a lot of videos on that channel. Yeah, mainly challenges. I remember um, Jacob said, Sartorius video you had to take down, though. Did I? Yeah, yeah, remember a sweatshirt video you had, you had to take down. I can't remember that. Because you had an email from someone. Oh, we got copyrighted, copyright. didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that was our first copyright strike, wasn't it, on that channel? <laughs> yeah. Which, yeah. Is, which is ridiculous, because we did another reaction to take Jacob Sartorius, and we didn't get an email about that. No. Yeah, that was the fun... fun. That was like the era of the, of the apocalypse, where everything started going wrong on YouTube for a lot of people. 2017 was the year of drama for YouTube, because you had like... Um, the. Sideman, Sideman beef, and yeah. all that, and then Jake Paul, Everyday Bro, and yeah. um, oh, who else was going at each Rice other? Gum. Rice Gum was um, hey, uh, Alyssa Violet as yeah. well. It, you had a lot of diss tracks that year. Twenty seventeen was a good year, though. It was. It, it was, was really, really fantastic. Year. And uh, the one YouTuber who never gets involved in drama is Daz Black. Yeah. Everyone loves Daz. Yeah, no. In general, though, it was a, it was a good. It was a really good year for YouTube, and because that was the start of the uh, boxing as well, the YouTube boxing. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Twenty seventeen. That was the Joe Weller and KSI fight. Twenty eighteen. You had the Logan. Logan Paul. Logan Paul. That was the start of the Jake Paul. That was the start of the Walmart. Um. <laughs> that Walmart shit won't work here, boy. Boy, welcome to London, motherfucker. Yeah, in twenty nineteen was the. Uh, Logan KSI 2 well also Logan Suicide Forest that was 2017 was it? shut up mm -hmm. shut up yeah, nah yeah that was 20 nah it might have been 2018 19 it wasn't 2019 I swear no hang on Suicide might have been 2018 then definitely was I mean we're both checking them we've just gone silent Um. yeah we are checking it Logan Paul suicide. Oh, 17. Team. Fucking Christ, it's gone quick. Yeah. Why the fuck? Why did I think. What happened last year on YouTube? Not a lot, really. <laughs> Nothing now. I'm fucking locked down. No. I think the most that's going on now is Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson shit. Yeah. <laughs> Nonsense. Oh, yeah, because you had um, James Charles, didn't you, last year? Oh, yeah. But yeah, we watched it go down, mm. but then it went back up. He dropped. He lost two mil, like two million within twenty four hours. <laughs> Bet he was crying. Mental, wasn't it? And it all come out that it was none of it was real. What was the actual thing that was going on with him? Oh, I have no idea. To be honest with you, I didn't really get involved in it enough. <laughs> it's not my scene. Really? Funnily enough. Oh, I beauty is not. My, believe it or not, the I know these lush looks tell you differently, but <laughs> beauty is See, really not I my. I also like the smaller channels though. Like um, you Bambino Becky. Yeah, she's another one. She's, she's great. doing really well now, though. Yeah, she is. Um, Max Fosh. Yeah, he's an uh, Marky. Marky's yeah, great. Max Fosh is in like Stephen Tries group, isn't it? Yes, he is. Oh yeah, I do. Oh, finally, he reached a million. What, to... what Stephen? Yeah, he yeah. should have reached a million a, a long, long time, time ago. Oh, he's brilliant. Do you know that he done the you know the uh, Stormzy video that sort of went viral? Yeah, yeah. He did that when he's still in uni. Was he? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. That, that went that went mad mm. that video that was great yeah cause, uh, that blew up on like lab bible and uni bible and stuff yes yeah that was great yeah like um, Marky's another one have you ever heard of Marky mm. yeah, yeah he's mainly watches 
drama unfold on YouTube, but but then I think he knows the risk that like, it will come back on him. Yeah. But he don't care. He's part of that lot though. He's friends with like Bambino, Max Fosh, and everyone else. Yeah, because then you've got people um, in that similar group. You've got like Will and E, haven't you? Will and oh yeah, Will and E, yeah, yeah. Will and E, James Marriott, I'm Alex. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, Brad does banter. I wish he would get more recognition. Mm. But I mean, I, I know saying that though, he's very controversial sort of thing. Yeah, it's a miracle he hasn't been cancelled at this point. He nearly did. Yeah, True Geordie did a video on, on him. him. Yeah, but then again, though, I mean. If you don't like that sort of comedy, don't watch it. Mm. He was borderline racist in a lot of his stuff, though. See, now you brought that up, think of, people aren't going to think I'm racist. <laughs> no. I'm not no, racist. No, no. <laughs> I think the problem with Brad was... with his. He didn't know how to stop. No, and I think he wanted to go so edgy to the point where it that was that was your clear like red, red sea for him, yeah. wasn't it? You know, it was that edgy. Yeah. A lot of the stuff he made. Um, Lost a lot of subs. A lot of subs. Yeah, for him as well. And then he reached 300k and then went down to 275,000. Mm. Sounding like Rice Gun, but he is pretty much irrelevant now, though, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. I follow him on Instagram. And he does a lot of funny stuff on Instagram now, and he is getting, getting a lot more followers on there. But I follow another YouTuber called Andy's Views. Oh, yeah. And yeah, he is funny. He's only got 3,000 subs, but he is so funny and sarcastic, mm. which is my humour. Just massively sarcastic. Yeah. And um, oh, who else is I going to mention as well? Um, that's gone. Small YouTuber, big YouTuber? Any. Oh, right. <laughs> no, um, Critical is another good one. Penguin Zero. N- never watched them. Yeah, you have. Have I? That's the guy that does used to do the Anthony Sutherland things. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Anthony Sutherland. Yeah, yeah. Hey this guys, it was going on, guys. It was critical. Um, <laughs> yeah. I was gonna see like who else I'm subscribed to because I've got so. Oh, so many. See, I like all movie ones as well. Have you ever, have you ever heard of Spooky Rice? No. Nah. He does um breakdowns of disturbing movies from mm. around the world. Some of it's so the only thing that I'd ever watch movie star was probably Cinema Sins. Oh, oh, yeah, see, yeah, Screen Rant, you know. Um, oh, god, the pitch, guy that changes pitch everything. Meetings. Pitch meetings, Ooh. yes, what? Sorry, I just got an interesting email. Oh. I was going back onto my list of notes and that come up. Um, you are, have you ever heard of a channel called Dan I Crouchy? Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, um, yeah. we have covered like. <laughs> <laughs> like four topics in one there so oh yeah i've actually subscribed to a youtube channel called uh the new how the fuck you, the new b reviews okay he's only on seventy nine thousand. is he pretty new then yeah kind of is new. he a b he, does he review he does review ah shit. okay yeah <laughs> oh okay joined the 2nd of april 2006 fucking hell Jesus. He's been on for a while then. He's got 9 million views on his channel and he's only at that. Terrible content. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. If you join that, it doesn't mean you start posting videos. That's true. You might have just had an account. I'm ready. Yeah, you really <laughs> might have. <laughs> ah. And what? And what? <laughs> Sorry, Big we what, do this. You want to fight about it? Yeah, this is really... I think this is... Um, if people didn't know us, they think we hate each other. Yeah, we do, but... Um, <laughs> Sorry, just kick that in. We're very much like that, though. And you don't see it in the videos, and you wouldn't see it in the videos, would you? No. No, I suppose not. No, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Should we bring this podcast back on track? Yeah, come on then. What else do you want so, to talk about? So, obviously... Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get a new co-host already. Um, so, obviously, we done we did as Dan. Yes, we did. Um, I think what killed the channel for us was Vlogmas. Yeah, that was probably it a was bad so, idea. It, it, it was, was so bad. It was so bad. It was either me walking to work <laughs> or from time work. never moves. Oh, yeah. Okay, right. No, 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 right. So the first episode of Vlogmas, if you don't know what it is, it's basically an advent calendar on YouTube you do every day until Christmas Eve. Yeah, you just vlog. Yeah, you just vlog your day-to-day life. And I, I used to wake up at... <laughs> are you laughing already? Uh, what time did I used to wake up? I used to wake five up... Five or something. Um, I used to wake up at quarter to six. And I always used to say, oh, I hate getting up at quarter to six. Five minutes later, oh, 
oh, I called again. I've called a six. It's not. It's, no. it's horrible. No, what? I it, think okay, I'm saying okay, this yeah, right. you're saying it wrong. Yeah, because so one of your friends pointed really out. out. Right. So what he was doing was he'd wake up be like, "Morning, guys. It's like half five now. I've just woken up. Um, we're gonna go downstairs and make some breakfast." And then he'd go downstairs and be like. All right, guys, it's about half five now. Um, I've made my breakfast. I'm just about to eat. It. Be like, all right, guys, it's half five. I'm just walking to work. And one of my friends is like, does time just not move in this world? <laughs> it's half five, like four times. I think because I was so tired, I would just lose track of what I was saying yeah. pretty much. But yeah, vlogmas. <laughs> it was so shit. Yeah, it was either me going to work, walking from work, or drunk. Yeah. Where, or it was you, because obviously you were still at school then. Yeah, and it's me sat in my room. Yeah, sat in his room, editing. Oh, you were really ill at one point. It was when I. Yeah, yeah. I remember um, remember just one time, it was me doing one day, and I was at a party, thank God, always. We had nothing to film. Yeah. And the, the one video of you was just making honey, honey. lemon, yeah. and hot water. Yeah. Which was, sounds banging, by the way. Yeah, I was quite ill. Um, I did blog Bless a couple you. at school as well. Oh yeah, because one of your friends got really worried about offending me. Yeah, because that was when I was in my last. <laughs> I was in my l- very last year of high school then. Oh, Fuck, it feels like a lifetime ago now. Oh it? god, yeah. Did you ever think you would never leave school? Like, because obviously um, it just goes so. I don't know. For me, I just thought I'd never leave, but now look at me. I'd love to go back. I uh, yeah. See, high school was probably the happiest years of my life at school. Mm. Middle school was shit. Because I got into a fight and lost all my mates because I punched this guy and I punched him and his head went into a coat hook. <laughs> so oh, he had a yeah. hole in his head. I'm s- I- Actually, no, I don't apologise for that. It was great. You just know who you out, are. Yeah, just putting it out there. <laughs> um, it no, really yeah, I, I really liked school. It was easy, but it was also that embarrassment of, oh, that's the YouTube kid. That was what killed it as well. You yeah. were taking GCSEs. So you had no time to... We had no time to film. You are correct. Yeah, I think Vlogmas didn't kill it. I think just obviously you, yeah. you had to study, which is understandable, obviously. Education comes first. Even well, shit. Yeah, what good is it? My education got me. I still make the same videos three years yeah. later. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I, know, I, um, I did like years at college as well. I did animal care. And, you did loads um, of different things, didn't you? Yeah, oh, yeah, animal care, film and media. I worked at Catch Protection League. I used to help out in the animal area at college. At special and... clinic. Or were you just a member? I can't remember. <laughs> He's a funny gun, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm working in car wop. Yeah? Yeah. But it's great. Yeah, if, yeah like... I can, I can be one of those people and say, I actually like my job. Mm-hmm. Fuck you. Stack the shells, shopping trolley, stack the shells, so shopping trolley, car, bar, box. Oh, yeah. Um. So, yeah, we finished. Actually, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you when our last video was. I It was around about June, July time of 2017. Yeah. Oh, God, that was really... Yeah! <laughs> yeah! 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 God, that was really high. Fucking hell, three years ago. Oh, last video got 146 views. Wow. <laughs> As Dan, um, 29th of July, 2017. Wow. So, just over three years. Yeah, three years today. Yeah. Three, oh, four just, likes, five dislikes. I was three. wrong. It's just, wow. It's just gone five. It's just gone three years, isn't it? Our best video was either the cinnamon challenge or the. Where is it? Oh, the Bean Boozle Challenge. That was so funny because I need to throw up in your bin. Yeah, that was... Uh... <laughs> but back then, though... I don't know why I made that noise. I'm sorry. <laughs> back then, though, you could kind of... Um, you could get away with making videos like that. Yeah, I suppose so. Because there was no... I don't know. When you start, when you first start your channel, you can get away with doing all the cringy... Um, I can't take this man seriously. So I just started making faces yeah. at him. Um, yeah, you can't. Fuck's sake, you couldn't. Oh, I can't. I don't even know what I'm saying now. <laughs> You're live to I'm dead podcast, ladies and gentlemen. You won't find any better content. Um, I'm okay, prepared. when we had Asdan. Yeah, the Bean Boozle Challenge. You could get away, though, with making shit content like that because it was our first channel. So you kind of do all the basic generic videos, don't you? Like, look, I'll do the cinnamon challenge and things. Yeah. At least we never did the ch- chubby bunny 
thingy. What you know that? the one where you shove the marshmallows in your mouth? Oh, God. Oh, do you You'd know, be I... wild good at that. I reckon we could easily get like a whole pack. Really? Do you reckon? I reckon. We got to do it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we can't. We can't bring ourselves down to that level. But I think that love that transit trans- Oh. <laughs> um by the way, these podcasts are gonna be like pretty much all unedited, so Um so that transit the fuck the transition. transition. Yeah, the that transition. Trans- <laughs> Fucking Christ. You know you know when a word you've uh you said it so many times it doesn't sound like a word anymore. Yeah. That's like that now. Anyway, that brings us on to our last sort of topic. Um, and that is moving forward with our channel now. Like, what is our channel now? Because... It's a mixture of things, really. I mean, Haunted Island is probably... Like, the well, best thing I, we've I, ever done. I, oh, definitely, yeah. Because By a long shot. Isle of Wight. I mean, I, I know there are some YouTubers on the Isle of Wight that have, like... Well, no, actually, because... That channel that I probably... Oh, Abandoned went, Island. Yeah, yeah. They didn't really do any ghost things. No, Abandoned Island just went around abandoned, Think, can, abandoned can places. Can people please stop asking to join us for to go on our ghost walk thingies? Because we're not going to allow you. No. I'm saying this now. You can ask and ask. I don't care. You're not coming on, for fuck's sake. There's too many people already as it is. I think I actually get like four or five messages a week. I get loads like, Easy. oh, when I come back to the island, I'm so coming on one week. No, you're not, Eli. Sorry. Eli's one that keeps on badgering me. Do you want me to cut that out? <laughs> no, I'll leave it. It's fine. Fair enough. Yeah, no. <laughs> Love um, you, though. Love you, Eli. I don't know. Um, I put a post up on the I Like Community page. Oh, my God. That wo- pissed me and off. And some woman was like... <laughs> oh, Osborne <laughs> House, no, Carisbrook no, no. Castle. We can't. It's English heritage. No, some woman said, um, can my son and my, no, my daughter, my husband and daughter would love to come along too. I'm like, it's not like that's it, ridiculous. This isn't a family park. <laughs> yeah, that's why I, I was like, ah, it's like we're a production team. Yeah, oh my God, <laughs> like, that's ridiculous. Because we're even in like, we're in the process now of getting all like our legal documents sorted for the team. So we're just so like our five members are all insured because like, we can't just start bringing jack jill and his mum with us <laughs> yeah so you're not coming okay you can ask and ask i mean if we ever look to expand we'll do it, a giveaway yeah if we ever look to expanding the team and things like that if you follow us on like social media then we'll tell you when we're doing it you know because there's, there's going to be time in the future and we've got some hopefully in the next year or so we've got a couple of like events in the works that we want to try and do which will involve more people but apart from that what it is is what it is now what that's, that's, that is though, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, there's seven. There's seven of us, really. Is that? That can come along with us. Me, you, Connor, Ash, Ash Riggles, Pia. Does he five. still? Right. Yeah, but if we needed more people to come along. Oh, okay. Got, Sorry, Pete. <laughs> Sorry. No, so you've got like Peter. Um, I swear someone else has come with us, but like Gary. Oh, Gary. Pete, yeah. Gary Barlow. Yeah, Gary Barlow. So like this. Well, there's six of us. Plus, we have, like, obviously, friends that edit the videos, help editing and filming. So there's shit tons of people. Um, so, yeah, sorry. Going on Aaron's point. No, I'm afraid you can't come with us. Yeah, I hope you do release this podcast as well, because I want that message to get across. If you keep asking, you are not coming. Just ask me instead. I'll probably say yes. What? No, you can't <laughs> do that now. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yeah. No, I'm joking. It is what it is at the moment. Um, if we ever need extras, we'll, we'll reach out. All right, you'll know because there will be time when we need extras, especially when we do haunted haunted manhunt. Ah, uh, ah, uh, mate, manhunt's lethal. Yeah, Fuck's when we sake. do haunted manhunt, then no, it's, no, I'm not having Ash tackle me to the ground. I'll die. Don't worry, you've got to be tagged. Don't worry. Oh, okay. I thought Don't you were worry, like, it's to the ground and rape you. Or we're gonna get a paintball gun. Not sure yet. Oh, I've been paintballed. Oh, so hurts. yeah, keep out. Just keep a look on Instagram because that's where I will post it. I won't put it. I uh, no, I won't put it on Facebook. Well, we haven't even got an Instagram page going yet. Yeah, but you can follow me on Instagram at dan dot And you can follow me on Instagram at um. Shit, I forgot it. Aaron D. Wow. Fuck you, um, Aaron D ninety six. But we will have two new Instagram pages coming soon, which is um obviously the Dan I Crouchy official one, and also the Alive Till I'm Dead one, which is going to be our clothing line. Well, we should make a Haunted Island one, really. 
Ah, oh, just keep it on the downlight, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it gives me such an evil look. Or not. <laughs> so, yeah, talking about our channel now, I'd say by far, well, obviously, this is the best we've ever done. And I think if people saw the. Fuck, I hate you sometimes. <laughs> Honestly, how am I related to this thing? <laughs> we actually mm. talk normally. Like we're so close to finishing this now. We've I got like fifteen. I don't know, but it's left. funny hearing us argue, isn't it? We've got like fifteen minutes left. Hey. This is this, honestly though. When we ever have our team meetings or anything like that, yeah, this is ninety-five percent of the meeting. Five percent of yeah, we're gonna be doing this. It's because I can't keep still. It's like I have to do it. Like yeah. I just have to make a weird noise, <laughs> or just make someone angry. Yeah, going back to the channel. Thank you. Just stop interrupting. So, going back to the channel, what it is now, right? Over to you. Do you want to just take it from here? Because, <laughs> like, obviously, you seem to think you know more than me about it. So, if you want to just take it from here, like, you go ahead. Oh no, I think the channel at the moment is doing quite well. Oh, do you? That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> he lets me take over, but back right in. <laughs> yeah, because that's what you do every time I start talking. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> You imagine if someone's listening to this in their car now or whatever. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you crash. Okay, right. Let's let's not. Right, let's bring this back to normal now. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, go on. So, Haunted Island season two. Yep. Um, we have already said that we want to make this. 20 times better than season one yes and i won't be such a pussy because season one was kind of like the test of it all wasn't it yeah to see what worked what didn't work i mean i wasn't gonna say anything because i know you you did each different location as a season yep. so night in gorge was season one yep. and five so forest was season two yeah i wasn't gonna say anything because it's your channel yeah but i didn't like the way that did it but i'm yeah. glad you've We've done it, it now yeah. yeah and i think as well though it took the trial period that's that was the beauty with it i think yeah. you know and we also managed to figure out how we need to be on camera who works well on talk loudly on camera so season one really is like the test this is the idea that we're going to be doing it was kind of like testing it see how people liked it season two is going to be like a whole new level of good yeah. you know anything that we can improve on we're going to be improving on um we haven't started filming yet um, be soon, but though. we'll be starting filming like very very soon um and yeah within the next sort of month or so you should see episode one of season two yeah we're going to be promoting it a lot more so the best way to know when the next season is coming is to keep ref keep checking our youtube ch channel because that banner will change and in the Facebook new season. page yeah. because and... yeah, the banners will change and things like that um yeah. and we're gonna start we will start dropping trailers yes absolutely um, because i love the trailers i love sharing tra trailers yeah so yeah we're gonna add a lot of improvement to it especially we've got new people that are sort of help going to be helping out even more now um and it's just going to be it's going to be almost like a brand new going to series. a lot more pubs a lot more pubs yeah, a lot more locations video did very well yeah, not just pubs, but like more indoor locations. We're sort of pushing the outdoor ones to one side as much as possible, unless we just got nowhere to go. So the problem with outdoor ones is they're just nowhere near as spooky as in, when you're inside. Really? No. Okay. I think, well, the pub was just so good, wasn't it? It was everything that we wanted to I felt do. safer in the pub than yeah. outside in a fucking forest or tunnel. Yeah, I don't know. But I think when you're out in like the tunnels and stuff, the thing that scares you is not the not the it's not the ghost or spirits no. it's what could be in those tunnels yeah it's, That's, it's, I've watched too many horror movies yeah. Daniel knows I'm a horror fanatic it's like Drunk John isn't it do you know what well, I mean well yeah coming at me with a fucking heroin needle yeah like that, that's that's the fear isn't HIV it HIV positive so, either that or fucking he'll like from wrong turn movies mm. and stuff fucking jump out at me or whatever alright so yeah that's um, Haunted Island done um, challenge videos we've uh, yeah. we made a decision as a team to stop them because no. someone stapled their fucking forehead didn't they Dan they did Aaron it was um, me I did staple my forehead did not go well <sighs> had to get it out with pliers the re no and th th there's, there's, that was not the real reason to stop it no no it. but it's all been done yeah the, the, the challenges have all been done 
And we've said, like, me and Connor, we're not... I don't mind eating an onion and shit like that that we did. And <laughs> that, it is quite funny. But anything, like, beyond that, the Texas to the extreme level is not really mine and Connor's thing. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> I do. Wow. So, as, like, a channel decision, we made, we said that we're going to stop that. And we're going to come up with some new things. And we've got loads of new stuff in the pipeline. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And as a channel, we kind of want to be a channel that prides ourselves on quality. The challenges we have done, like hot sauce and sour challenge, will stay up. Yeah. Because we've we've done we've that. Done them and now. and uh, this hot sauce and the sour that that was funny. Yeah. That was so funny to do. Yeah, and they're they're very light hearted videos, weren't they? Yeah. Um, but we yeah we're basically gonna be up and everything ten times from now on this is just kind of that stale period where we haven't got anything to post because of the fact of we're working on the stuff to post. So, yeah, that that pretty much, I think that covers everything, doesn't it? It does, yeah. We want yeah. to talk about, like, just, we are trying to put everything we can into this channel and I'd rather, I've said it now, I'd rather post a video less often that I love than a video every week that is just rushed and... Yeah. not perfect yeah absolutely no i 100 percent agree with that but um th- this was nice to do something different mm. and to give you guys an update and talk a bit about ourselves and life on youtube and but, it's um, more laid back and it's easy and we're gonna try and get different people on as well which i think would be good fun yeah so is this being released on friday probably, on YouTube. Yeah, probably. okay yeah so if you listen to this it'll be friday friday i think maybe depends it's thursday Just now say, so. oh tomorrow yeah, it's tomorrow, isn't it? Just say yes. Okay, yes. Thank you. Sorry. <coughs> You're going to come around and... Uh... I'll leave you to edit it then, yeah. Well, I'll just post it. <laughs> I'll just be like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's going to kill me. I'm sorry. And on that note, guys, thank you so much for listening to the Live Some Dead podcast. I've been your host, Dan. And I've been the co-host, Aaron... Um, also known as Mr. Mac Daddy and um, Bob Roll. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who's that? <laughs> and on that though, guys, it's joke. <laughs> take care of yourselves and we'll see you all very soon. Bye bye. Sorry. Wow. <laughs>